Dan Sianca. It's been nice, but really chilly at night. Has been chilly at night, and that is due to the dry air that is in place across the central coast. But we'll continue to see this weather pattern as we head into the holiday weekend. But there's something special happening on Halloween this year. Of course, it would happen in 2020, but we've got a full moon, which is actually the first full moon on the West Coast on Halloween since 2001. Now, even crazier, it's going to be the first full moon on the East Coast on Halloween since the 1950s. Isn't that just unbelievable? That just blew my mind. It's also this uh, full moon, the first full moon after the harvest moon, which occurred earlier this month, is known as the hunter's moon. Some also call it the blood moon. But also, this is a blue moon, or the second full moon in one month. That doesn't happen very often either. So pretty wild stuff going on out there as we head into the holiday weekend. And I think you're going to be able to see that moon pretty well. We'll have a few low clouds out there, I expect, late in the night and early in the morning. But other than that, the weather pattern not changing all that much. And we've seen clear skies over the last couple of days. So high pressure off to our northwest. It is dominating our weather. It's still driving our air off offshore. We're not seeing strong winds, which is good news. So it's just a very light offshore gradient, which is enough to keep our marine layer at bay and keep that warm, dry air close to the coast. And it has been warm and will continue to be so during the afternoons through the rest of the week, though the mornings have been a little cool with that dry air mass in place. So let's look at future cast. We start things off at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. You're going to see mostly clear skies throughout the day tomorrow. And the model is bringing some low clouds near the coast tomorrow evening. Uh, this is the latest model run. The last model run was showing it onshore by 6 p.m. tomorrow night, which I didn't think was going to happen. So uh, I think by the time we wake up Friday morning, we could see a little fog right on the coast, but still looking at pure sunshine tomorrow. High temperatures still very warm, but lows chilly once again in the 30s overnight in the San Lorenzo Valley. We'll start the day at 45 in Santa Cruz and top out 30 degrees higher at 75. Scotts Valley in the 80s tomorrow. Ben Lomond, Boulder Creek in the 80s tomorrow and almost there in Bonnie Doon. 72 in Capitola. East Shore of the Bay, 60s to 70s tomorrow, 75 in Watsonville, mid 70s to Salinas, 80s in Hollister and Gilroy, actually warming up a couple of degrees inland tomorrow afternoon. Over to Monterey, right around 70, it should be 66 this time of year, so that's warm. 69 tomorrow in Seaside and Pacific Grove, even nice and mild there as well. And then farther south, some warm readings in the Salinas Valley. We're going to be in the 80s in Greenfield, King City. You'll get a bit of a breeze in the afternoon, but it'll still be a pretty warm day. In fact, Bradley getting close to the 90 degree mark tomorrow. So some heat almost after a chilly morning tomorrow morning. OK, so let's look at those next seven days. Temperatures cool off a few degrees on the coast Friday with stronger offshore onshore flow. And again, I think that's the best chance of seeing some low clouds and fog this week. Winds will try to be a little bit more offshore this weekend and the ridge will strengthen. So I've got us warming up Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Weather system will pass by to our north on Tuesday on Election Day, which will add a few clouds into the forecast, but uh, don't see any rain. Models are getting a little bit more interested in adding some rain to our forecast end of next week, next weekend. We'll have to watch that right now. Still a ways out. Inland areas next seven days, your highs five to ten degrees above normal. Lots of sunshine. Can't rule out some valley fog, maybe Friday, but other than that, it's looking pretty warm, pretty dry as we head through the weekend.